Hello guys and welcome back to the Minecraft Multi Force. Today we are making the Oshkosh M977 and this is the Hemet, the Heavy Expanded Mobility Tactical Truck. And this is specifically the cargo truck variant. We got the A2 right over here. This is the older original model of it. And here is a 360 view of it. We have a nice uh, flat bend side here. And these walls, by the way, they can drop down in real life. And there's also this crane here in the back, and I'm going to show you later on the video with it extended. Uh, but yeah, this is just the original A2 version of it. Then right over here, this is the A4 version of it. And this is basically the one you could tell between the A2 and the A4 is that this giant vent here in the back of the cab. That's a really obvious feature. We don't have that visor on top, as well as the wheels on top rather than on the side like the A2 version. And the rest of it, like the back part, I think is pretty much the same. And then this bottom part, I changed up uh, differently as well. And then last, we have this version here uh, with the crane in the back with it extended out. And this is what you can use to uh, handle materials. Just put them inside the, <laughs> the bed. And um, yeah, you can also include this with the A2 version. Like the back part's pretty much... Uh, the same from what I could tell it's a telescoping crane so you can make this longer or change the direction you don't necessarily have to make it like exactly how I did it and also it does have some stabilizers down over here just to help with the support when it's uh, carrying stuff but yeah it's a great addition to add to your Minecraft army and it's actually used by the US Army in real life uh, for logistics I believe and right over here we have the original M977 tutorial I did way back when I first started Minecraft Military Force it's almost four years old it's uh, built in December or at least the tutorial is December 2017 so I really want to update it for quite a long time so um, yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video and by the way while I was recording the video I forgot to add in these fence gates in the front so just don't mind that I'll fix it up later let's get started first on the A2 variant and then I'll convert it into an A4 and then at the end I'll show you how to make it with this crane if you want to uh, do so all right so let's get started on the chassis so first we'll grab some materials smooth sandstone slab stairs a birch slab as well as the trap door, polished blackstone brick stairs, sandstone wall, and dark oak trap door. And then we'll add cut sandstone block, as well as a birch fence gate. So here in the front, all right, so first we'll be building one half of it at the time for this. So we'll take out a birch plank, and we're gonna have that hovering above the ground like this. And then a birch slab in the front of it. Smooth sandstone slab to the side. And then smooth sandstone stairs upside down here. Then we'll make a 2x2 two two of polished blackstone brick stairs. And then another 2x2. Two two. Then we'll add in a birch trap door right here. Underneath that stairs. As well as one behind it here. And then a sandstone wall. Then we'll add in sandstone walls in the inside of all these uh, stairs like this. And we'll add in a cut sandstone block right there. And we're going to add in another three to this. So one, two, three. And then we'll add in sandstone wall. And we're going to make that five blocks long. So one, two, three, four, five. And then we'll add in cut sandstone block. And then we'll add in the wheels here, just a 2x2 two two of polished blackstone brick stairs, and then another 2x2 two two in front of it. So we have a pair like this, and we'll add in a sandstone wall here in the back. And then a birch trap door here, and we'll make that two blocks wide. We'll also add in a um, block temporarily here, and then we'll add in that dark oak trap door, I'm going to close that up like that. All right, so then we'll add in a black banner right in this bottom corner here in the back, as well as an acacia button in front of this uh, cut sandstone um, block like that. Now over here in the front, we'll add in cut sandstone block right on top of the stairs. And then we'll add in smooth sandstone block, just two blocks wide here. And then in the back here, two blocks tall. Then we'll add in a birch trap door here. Item frame here, orange bed. We'll make the orange be on the outside. 
add in black concrete here in the middle. And then we'll make an L shape of birch trap doors right on top. Then we'll add in another brick stairs right here in the corner. And then a birch fence. Down underneath, we'll add in a birch bun right down there. All right, and then we'll go to the back of this. We'll add in a cut sandstone block, two by two. And we'll add a lever here, iron bar right on top. Then this back part here, we'll add in a cut sandstone block. And then we'll go to this back part, add in cut sandstone block here. And then we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs. Cut sandstone and keep on doing that until um, we reach the other side, which is right there. Then we'll add in cut sandstone on the edges, in the front and the back. And then we'll add in cut sandstone slabs right on top. Wrap it around this box. And here in the back, we'll add it so it's two blocks wide right over there. All right, next we'll add in cut sandstone block here. Sandstone wall on top as well as a birch button. So it's going to be two blocks long on top right there. And we'll add in a sandstone a slab or it could be cut sand. It doesn't really matter because you only see the top part of it, I think. Is there a difference between sandstone slab and then cut sand? Yeah, I don't think there's a difference. So just put in sandstone slabs all the way across just like that. And then we'll go down below here and uh, we're gonna make it two blocks wide of cut, I mean birch trap doors like that, right at the bottom. All right, once we have that, we're gonna copy everything that we did on this side and then build the other half pretty much symmetrically. So I'm just gonna build it right there. So now we have both halves. So right over here on this side, we can add in um, birch trap door and open that up. Another brick uh, stairs right there, birch bun, down over here and then we'll add in sandstone stairs gonna be one here then a cut sandstone block and then a birch fence gate open that up towards the front sandstone wall right here on top of the stairs a dark oak trap door behind this cab area close that up and then sandstone stairs on the roof we're gonna make it so it's gonna be two blocks wide and this one's gonna be cornered then we'll add in a birch trap door right in that nook here. And then we'll go to the other side. And we're actually going to delete this wall here, replace it with smooth sandstone stairs. Skip a block upside down. And then cut sandstone slab here at the very top of this. So then we'll add in a birch trap door here. Smooth sandstone stairs here. Two blocks wide, polished black stone brick walls. Then two blocks wide, polished black stone uh, brick slabs at the top and the bottom. Then we'll go to the back and we will add in a birch fence gate and we will open that up like that. Add in cut sandstone slab here, smooth sandstone stairs upside down over here, and then a sandstone wall right inside that nook like so. All right, next here on the side, we'll add in a birch pressure plate top of this wall. The three blocks wide sandstone stairs on the side of this. And then we'll go down underneath here. I should have done this before actually, just uh, add in sandstone slab in the middle of the wheels, just make a two by two like that. And we'll do the same thing in the back, just make a two by two in the middle of that. And since I whirled it, these things aren't connected, so let me actually fix them so they are. And apparently I made a mistake. This stairs is actually facing towards the back part, so it should be looking like that now. And we'll also add in birch fence gates in front of these headlights. We'll go to the back, add in a birch fence gate right here on the side like that. And then we'll go here on the side and we will delete this trap door that's not supposed to be there. As well as in the front, we'll add in four blocks wide of light gray carpets. Just like that. Alright, so yeah, that's pretty much it on how to make the A2 version of the M977. Now let's convert it into the A4, which is the modern day version. So first off, we're going to delete, you know, this visor here. We don't need that. 
Replace this birch bun with black stone bun instead. Add in two blocks wide, cut sandstone slabs. And then a cut sandstone block here. And then on this side, it's going to be a polished uh, black stone bricks block. And we wanted a block so it connects with the sandstone wall behind it. And then here on the side, we'll um, delete this two blocks wide, two by two like that. We'll get rid of that. And then we'll add in two blocks tall birch planks behind we'll add two blocks tall sandstone wall. Then on the other side, we'll do the same thing. So delete this two by two, two blocks tall birch planks, two by two, I mean two blocks tall sandstone wall. And then right on top, we're going to add in a two by two uh, polished blackstone brick slabs. And I feel like I just delete that for no reason. Anyways, let's go down here. And uh, we're going to turn this stairs upside down, facing towards the back. We'll move this cut sandstone slab down a slab. And then we'll change this into a cut sandstone slab like that. And then three blocks wide cut sandstone slabs like so. Then we'll go uh, right to the side of this. We'll change this birch bun into a acacia bun on both sides like that. And then we'll go on the roof here, add in a cut, I mean a birch trap door here. I think we'll make it two blocks long like that. And we'll change this into just uh, cut sandstone blocks again like that. All right, and then we're gonna replace these walls with deep slate tile walls like that, two blocks wide. Replace this fence gate with this wither skeleton skull on the side of that like so. And we're also gonna add these two blocks wide birch fence gates and open that up. In my original tutorial, I did not include this. Pretty much it on how to make it to the A4 version of it. Now let's actually make it with the crane. And by the way, if you do wanna make the crane with the A2 version, you can, it's basically the same <laughs> design, you know? All right, so first we're gonna make the stabilizer. So um, yeah, let's go down here. We'll add in cut sandstone slab, just two blocks wide like that and sandstone wall and then a birch fence underneath it. Other side, we'll do the same thing. Uh, sandstone wall, birch fence and underneath this, we'll add in cut sandstone block, both sides. Then uh, we'll delete this four blocks wide here, delete this fence gate slab and stairs add in uh, another sandstone wall on top of this add in a cut sandstone block on top a birch fence here and we'll add in an iron bar right to the side of this add in a birch button back and then a birch sign to the sides of this and by the way if you are designing this you can change the direction of the arm it doesn't exactly have to face this direction you know that's just what I'm doing but you can customize it however you want to so anyways next up we'll add in cut sandstone slab just two blocks long here cut sandstone slab here and then we'll add in smooth sandstone stairs upside down facing the back to the side of this we can add in a flower pot and then we'll add in two blocks long cut sandstone slabs and then on top two blocks long cut sandstone slabs diagonal another two, then diagonal one. And then at the very edge underneath, we'll add in a birch fence gate, open that up, just like that. Then we can also add in a birch trap door uh, right in this gap. All right, and then down over here, we'll add in a chain. It's gonna be a two blocks long like that. And underneath here, we can add in an iron bar just hanging underneath that uh, fence gate like that. And yeah, that's how you make it with the crane in the back. And that's pretty much it for this tutorial. Um, I hope you guys really enjoyed the design. I want to update this for quite a long time. It's been four, almost four years. So it's crazy how long time has uh, passed since I like originally started the Minecraft military force. Uh, but yeah, if you guys do enjoy the video, hit the like button down below. Check out our discord, subscribe if you had already. I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.